What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another Epic 7 video. Alright, so trying to do a bit more Epic 7 here on the channel to see if you guys actually enjoy it or not. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of RTA. As you can probably see from the screen here, I do not do very well in RTA, but RTA is kind of the main thing to make content for here in uh, Epic 7. So we're only in bronze and that kind of shows you where my gear is at in the game right now compared to other players. I generally have a hard time getting past bronze. I usually sit in silver if I actually do uh, play it enough to actually get up there. So yeah, that's kind of where my gear is. But I figure, you know, even if I'm not very high up in terms of the ranking here, the battles are still going to be, you know, they should still be tough battles. They should still not be just like really, really one sided battles. So it's basically like you're watching some of the top tier players play, if you think of it that way, just, you know, upscale the gear and just say, hey, let's pretend that he actually has really good gear or something like that. Then you would never know the difference. At least I don't think you would know the difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to be playing with Senya here because she got her exclusive equipment. So I kind of want to try her out a little bit, um, see how she performs. I gave her the EE that has life steal on it or you get health back for um what's it called uh every time you use your s1 and yeah i'm really bad at rta and i don't know if it's just because i'm not very good at picking you know characters in the draft if i'm yeah i, I think i probably just don't pick very good uh teams here but anyway let's try and use rem a little bit because Rem is really good. And then we're going to use Krau for a little bit of mitigation here because he is a knight. But not really much else uh, besides that. Why do you pick Selene? That's interesting. Um, and now I think we want to pick... Where is she? Let's use Ilyanav a little bit here. I do like Ilyanav. And then we probably want a healer maybe just because... Or do we not want to use a healer... We can maybe use Mort, this for fun, or should we use a healer? Um, does he, how many debuffs does he have? All he has is the debuffs from her, so we don't really need someone to ignore debuffs. Let's use... I really don't know who I want to use. I kind of want to use Mort just to see what he can do, but Mort's not really... <laughs> that great but you know let's let's just see what happens with Mort here so this is just gonna be for fun um what do we want to ban we just want to ban we want to ban Vivian because she gives everyone attack buff uh we don't really have a way to remove debuffs though from that silver blade Aramitha but I think we want to get rid of her See, that could have been a mistake right there. Maybe I should have banned Aramitha because um, cause she's going to stun everyone because I don't have high ER on anybody here. I mean, Krau has decent ER. I have 100, I think, ER on him. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone is just going to get stunned. So not really looking forward to that. And Iseria can only strip one person at a time, right? Yeah, because our AoE doesn't strip. It's only her S1, but she can burn and do two hits on. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was tempted to put on the EE that extends the uh, buffs here. Because then we can get two turns instead of just one turn. Okay, that's not bad. Because we want Crow to take some damage. He is going to get stunned here when she detonates, which is fine. Um, he's probably going to try to put something on either Ilyanav or Mort, or even both of them. That's kind of surprising. I have no effect resistance on anybody here except for Crow, And Crow got debuffed, so I guess that was probably just a 15%. Yeah, there we go. Defense break? Eh, no defense break. That's fine, though, because now Senya is going to kind of have free reign here because Senya is not going to be stunned. And then we can put up our, whatchamacallit, our counterattack. Yeah, because she's, we still have immunity on Senya, so we're not going to get stunned here. Hmm. 
resistance, that's fine. Wait, how is she able... Oh, because she burned twice. I was going to say, how did uh, Iseria get her passive back? So this is fine. He's going after Mort, even though Mort's probably my least geared character out of all of these. So Mort is not a threat. I was just picking him just for fun, but Mort isn't really going to be able to do anything. Yeah, I don't really care if you kill more. The main damage dealer here is my Senya. So we're probably going to want to horse Selene, I think. Probably Selene, right? Yeah, we want to get rid of Selene. I think Selene's the biggest threat here. So we'll see. Is maybe it's my decision making in the fights that get me uh, lose me battles, but we'll see. Because I'm not too worried about the Lilias here. I mean, she does get the dual attacks, I guess, which is a little annoying. Let's see if we can provoke you. No provoke, oh, but she detonates anyway from my uh, artifact there. Yeah, and then we got the life steal or the heal, which actually I didn't pay attention. How much did we actually heal for from that? Oh, all right. Well, there we go. We won our first one there. And like I said, Senyo was a threat there, so he shouldn't have really gone after Mort. My Mort is actually pretty bad. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go ahead and hop into another fight here. It actually took quite a while. That was a seven minute fight, six minute fight. Wow. Need to go a little bit quicker here. Maybe I'm just... Uh, Taking too long to do my decisions on who to ban and what to do. Actually, I probably should have banned Cerise this time. Cerise can be a little annoying for my playstyle. Well, maybe not. All right, well, let's see what we're starting with. It starts with Cerise, as I'm mentioning him. Um, anyway, we're going to do Crow and Senya. So we're going to take those two again. Just because I kind of kind of like playing around with Senya here. She's pretty fun to use. And then who else do we want to try? Someone different this time? Or just want to stick to the same team and see if we can use Rem again? Or try to use Rem and not have her get banned? Um, yeah, should we try the same team or not? Maybe we'll pick, um, pick Selene this time. Actually, no, let's pick Violet. Let's pick Violet, and let's pick... I guess let's pick Rem again. Why not? Then this time, do we want to do a healer? Because last time we didn't do any healing. Because last time we didn't do any healing. But, I mean, that was fine. Maybe we could use... We want probably an AoE because of that landy. Let's get an AoE in here. Let's do... Who's got a bit of AoE that we can... Uh, that we could have fun with? We could do Charlotte. Let's do Charlotte. My Charlotte's really badly geared. <laughs> so... We'll see. My Charlotte will probably die from the Landy, even if the Landy misses my Charlotte. Oh, he banned Charlotte anyway. Mm. Charlotte's one that I wanted to re-gear because she seems like she has really high potential because I've seen a lot of people do very well with Charlotte. Um, I mean, I'm not one of those, but I would definitely like to try her out with a, with a strong build, that is, because as you can see, I do have gear on her. It's just not very good. Oh, we got the counterattack. She missed everybody. How did she miss the uh, Cerise? Or did she not miss Cerise? I thought it said she missed everybody, though. Didn't have a miss debuff. Hmm. If you want to go on my Crow, I would appreciate that. Oh, I'm going on Rem. I do not appreciate that. Let's go ahead and... Trying to decide, do we want a defense buff? The Landy's going to get her thing off anyway. So yeah, we want to want to try to push her back. 
There we go. Pushed her back. Because now we have a good chance that Rem will hopefully survive this landy. We have a decent amount of HP on our um, on our Rem, which just got like 15k, I think. Alright, so now we want to get our counterattack up. Yeah, I, I really like uh, Senya. She fits my playstyle very well. Since I don't have like the greatest gear, I never can get like very fast uh, characters. So I'm never winning on any of the speed contesting. And then whenever I make damage dealers, I literally just like die instantly because I never get to take a turn with my damage dealer. And then my damage dealers always have such low HP that literally anyone that the enemy picks just kills them like instantly. So yeah, it never, it never goes very well for me. But anyway, we want to I want to kill the Landy. Let's get rid of her. And then I think we just kill the um, Cerise here. Oh, there we go. We actually got two wins there. So we've been fighting some, I think, the lower characters in bronze. And like I said, I can usually get up to silver. So I wouldn't say that I sit in bronze <laughs> exclusively. So probably need to get up to silver here and then we'll start having a little bit better matches because I didn't really expect to fight someone that was using some level 50s which I mean I've gotten my ass kicked quite a few times from people that just use level 50s because I mean you can gear a level 50 to be a lot better than a level 60 for at my level basically so you know some people that just have better rolls on their gear will definitely do a lot better than my kind of poorly geared uh, level 60 characters. Because I've also used some of my level 50 characters and they've done pretty well against, um, down here against some level 60s. Okay, so we're gonna go with our Crow again. Uh, to get back up there. Where are you, Crow? There you are. So we want Crow, um... Who do we want against Tywin? I don't know. I think I think we're just going to ban probably the Violet just because I don't really have a great counter for him right now. So I think we're just going to go with Designer a little bit here because it looks like he wants to pick a full debuff team because he's probably going to be picking like two more debuffers here. Lots. That's interesting. And Ravi, I mean, okay. I mean, Ravi is definitely good, but... I don't know, that combination doesn't really seem very good to me. So now I think we're going to use our Apocalypse Ravi. And then... Who do we want to use as our last character? Um... Got some DPS here. We we'll probably want someone that's immune to stun, like Mort. Who else was immune to stun? Uh, didn't we have someone else that was immune to stun or no? Thought I did, but I can't remember who it was. Oh, Champion Zerato is the other one that's immune to stun. Let's use let's use Mord again. Oh no no, he's got he's got fire. Let's use um, let's use Rem again because he's got fire there, double fire. And then set. I don't have. I mean, I guess my Rabbi can revive somebody, but hmm. Oh, he's just pairing says with um with Tywin. Okay, I mean, I, I guess that works because Tywin usually has really high effectiveness. So I'm betting that all of my characters will get stunned. But why is that lot so slow? What? <laughs> I'm very surprised. How is this lots? You know, this is just taking too long. I'm. I want to get out of here. I'm too lazy to, too lazy to fight this out. It kind of wasted a, a lot of time there. So I'll probably cut most of that fight. Let's just move on to the next one here. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and do our ban and be done. Wonder what this person will pick. OK, 
Okay, so again, we're going to start off with uh, Senya here just because I like Senya for now. This is going to be a Senya focused video. But then who else do we want to try? Um, we can use... Let's use Ilyanav again. So we'll use Ilyanav, and you know, we've never used a healer yet. Let's just go ahead and pop in ourselves a Maid Chloe. And then maybe... Maybe Apocalypse Ravi again. She's missing a lot of crits, though, which I'm a little disappointed in. So maybe we use somebody else? What else do we want to try? Um... could use carrots? No, I don't want to use carrot. Let's use... Huh. I'm tempted to just use Celine because he picked Vivian there, but then he probably just won't S3, so... Maybe we'll just use... I'm very tempted to use this Ravi again. Let's see if Ravi can do something this time. And who do we want to ban here? I think we just want to ban... The SSB, maybe? Yeah, let's just go ahead and ban SSB. Because I don't think his... Oh, I actually will, will he? I was going to say, I don't think his straws is going to do anything because my uh, Senya has the most HP here and she has really high attacks, so he shouldn't do anything. But I think I changed around my gear so that my Krau actually has higher HP now. Yeah, that could be a problem because I thought Senya was going to have the highest HP here, but now that I think about it, it might actually be my Krau that still has the highest HP. Which I should have been paying attention, but I haven't really been checking his last battles. Who has the higher HP? We could just go ahead and try to provoke. Could just try to provoke him, but I think it's better to just uh, put up the defense break to anticipate the next wave of attacks instead of the first wave. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we're going to get some damage in on uh, Spectre Tenebria here because we're going to have two AoEs because he has really slow units for some reason. So that'll get some damage in. And then this will get some damage in and also put up the counter attack. And yeah, Senya does have less HP by a thousand. Or yeah, less HP by a thousand. So this still shouldn't matter because if he kills Krau then Ravi just brings him right back like almost in oh no he gets invincibility but still Ravi will just bring him right back oh Ilyanav had the most health interesting ah. I guess my Ilyanav had the most and I don't have very high attack on her so I guess that makes sense she's mainly built with uh, crit rate and crit damage so she has lower attack and higher HP with, uh, with crit. And now we do want to kill uh, the Vivian because she's going to do an AoE here. And I don't really want that to happen, so I think we're just going to do that. That's fine. I mean... All that does is lower the HP on my crow, which means the horse is going to be even stronger. If we hit here, this might kill. Oh, no. We missed. All right, all right. He has no soul, so I mean, he's only going to be able to kill Ilyanov. I don't think he kills Crow, even if. Oh, he has attack buff, but I still don't think. Wait, you never used your special three? Is this the first turn that this uh, S10 has taken? That's interesting. I thought uh, I thought she had already taken a turn. 
Uh, all right, well, there we go. So we move up a little bit there. Oh, that was quick. Another challenger has appeared. Um, I guess let's maybe change up our ban here. Would we want to ban something different? Let's ban violets this time. Because I think I might actually use Vildred this time. Just to maybe try him out a little bit. So we'll pick our Senya like we always do. Pick Slandy, that's just kind of interesting. Um, I think I want to pick... I kind of think I want Ilyanav again, actually. Yeah, I think I want Ilyanav again. And then, like I said, I feel like trying Vildred again for right now. Or not again, this will be the first time. But uh, I generally don't use Vildred very often in PvP because he's mainly just like my farmer unit. So he's not the greatest in terms of uh, damage. <laughs> so let's see what else we want to do here. I think we want to use... I'll go with two um, debuff counters here. So let's go with... Uh, wait, we gotta go scroll down here. Let's use the champ, and then let's use designer. And then I think all we're gonna do is ban the SSB. And then we'll just let uh, Tenebria and Carrot debuff us to keep triggering either Zerato or designer a little bit, depending on whichever one he bans. Yeah, because Tempest Cern is fine with me, because Tempest Cern is just another debuffer. I just don't want the counterattacks from SSB. He didn't ban either of them. Um, that's not good for him, actually. Oh, wait, I didn't pick... I didn't pick Crow this time. No, I have no damage mitigation. I just realized that. Oh, I was not paying attention. I needed to pick either Crow or... Uh, who else has my Aureus on? Uh, Lilius. I need to pick Crow or Lilius here. Because my champion Zerato is very... He didn't... He didn't put a debuff in my champion Zerato. Are you kidding me? He has zero effect resistance. Um, because my champion Zerato has, like, no HP. Um, alright. So we're gonna do this just to get those re re redirect provokes off of us. Uh, I mean, we won't have this, of course, for Carrot, but that is perfectly fine. Oh, nice. We actually get um, Surin to go first. So this better debuff... Oh, never mind. I was to say this better debuff my champion's Rado, but he didn't even do the AoE. Okay, here we go. So champion's Rado, can you please get debuffed? I have such bad luck with my champion's Rado. Like, he almost never gets debuffed. And I don't know why that is, because I literally have like five effect resistance on him that I just have on a random piece, but... He never seems to get debuffed from, like, the debuffers, so it kind of irritates me. But we should be good now because Carrot can't kill um, Champions Rado and Designer a little bit because they will just keep cleansing or getting rid of the... Well, I mean, we got him there anyway. Uh, keep cleansing or getting rid of the burn, so yeah, there's not much you can do there. Alright, so I guess think we'll, ju we'll just do one more here. When do we get the silver? We'll get the silver at like 1200 or something. Um, so we'll just do one more here. Why are so many people banning Ma Maid Chloe? Is she really good in PvP? Um, or Senya? Senya! So I kind of want to try Senya with the third EE now, the one that gives her greater attack, just to see what that'll do. Nice. I like when they pick General Purgus because that's basically like a free pick. Um, because I really don't mind General Purgus at all. Um, let's see who else do we want to use. So we're picking Crozette, so that means he might be picking s 10 So let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and take her. Just because I haven't used her yet today. And then let's use... I think let's just use Ravi. Interesting. So, why Rowana? I don't have 
Oh, I guess Senya does counterattacks, but this is a single counterattack. That's not really going to be that good for you. Um, anyway, so let's take... Who else do we want to take? Um, we haven't used... There's someone that we haven't used. So we should, should we go, like, double Ravi here? Let's do double Ravi. That'd be fun. And then for our last pick, we just put in Krow for some mitigation. Because all we're going to do is ban the Landy. He has no damage dealer. Yeah, so we're just banning Landy. Because, uh, yeah. So... Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Ah, I didn't switch. I forgot that Ravi imprints the middle too, so she's not getting any benefit from that. So what I think we do is... All we're going to do is just focus on... on Charlotte. So let's see if we can stun her. Let's see if this is an E... Uh, effect resistance, uh, Charlotte. No? Okay. Just testing it out. She doesn't have much HP, so she's probably on lifesteal, I would assume. Since she doesn't have much HP. Oh wait, she has 15k? Why did that do so much damage to her then? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so now we're just going to get up our counterattack because single counterattack doesn't really matter for what's it called for Ruana that's not going to provide much healing it'd be nice if you would miss yeah if you would miss some um, Estene yeah there we go you got their counters yeah so that's not healing by very much so that's fine go ahead and do this we get a few buffs up all right so I think who do we want to kill first so Charlotte has that protection, which is a little annoying. So I think we just start working on Crozet. Or actually, no, let's see if we can stun Charlotte. Can we stun her? Yeah, that we can. And then probably just go on to... Wait, how do you stun me? So now we just go on Crozet, I think. Yeah, I don't really care about that. And then we just go here. Perfect. Because now his... What's it called is going to wear off. His uh, revive. So now we just go over here. Yeah, probably, yeah, just kill Crows at first and then worry about the Charlotte, because it doesn't matter if uh, Tenebria dies here. Okay, and then we just bring... We just bring her back, actually. We just bring back Estenny right now. And then now we can just work on Charlotte. We missed a crit. I'm pretty sure I have 99, like, 0. 0.2 crit on her. 99.2. And we miss a crit. Fantastic. Or is that someone else I'm thinking of? Maybe that's my Vildred that has 99.2. Okay, so now... Oh, nice. Let's see if we get a heal going on anybody here. No, oh, no healing. So I think we just... Uh, I think we just burn this. And then we do this to try to stun her. There we go. And then we just uh, unleash the stun. <laughs> Ravi is so nice, I really like Ravi. She just like destroys everything. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really have much of a chance there, just picking one DPS. Oh, Alright, we got the silver for the end of this video, that's nice. Because that usually doesn't work, does it? I don't really play enough RTA to know. I mean, I've watched, you know, other people's videos of it, but does picking like tanks and then a healer and then just having one DPS really work doesn't seem like it would it seems like you would want multiple dps's or just like bruisers or something like that because just one dps just won't get the job done especially when they're visible 
like uh, like Charlotte there, because Landy can go into stealth, so I guess she would be a good one pick DPS. Uh, Spectre Tenebria could be another good one pick DPS because she can't be targeted except by AoE. Uh, but anyway, let me know if you enjoyed the video and you still want to see more Epic 7 content. I'll probably make a few of these just to uh, kind of judge the response to see if you guys like it or not. So, you know, you'll have more opportunity to see if you maybe like the future videos better than this video here. But we'll see if we can climb because, like I said, silver is the highest I've ever made it. I would really, really like to be able to get the Ruel skin because I do have Ruel. Where do we see the... Uh... Where do we see the rewards? Can you go back? Well, anyway, I want the Ruel of Light skin is what I'm trying to say. Is ranking? Oh, season rewards. Here it is. Oh, no, it's not Ruel. That was last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Kisei. Kisei skin would still be nice. So we have to get all the way up to Master for that. And I've never gotten close. I've been stuck at Silver. I think what was the highest I got was like 1300 so we'll see if we can break that. So like I said, I'm going to do a few videos of these, make it kind of like a mini series here to just see what you guys think of it, if you actually enjoy the videos or not. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you enjoyed the video, um, if you want me to do anything different for these videos, if you want to see different content for Epic 7 than RTA, if you want to see some of my guild battles. Again, it's going to be lower level guild battles. But like I was saying at the beginning, does it really matter if it's low level, if it's still two players that are matching up kind of evenly because then it's still be an entertaining battle. But uh, yeah, let me know. And of course I will catch you in the next video.